Steve, mass is underway here at St. Margaret Mary. Leading it today is Father Mark Spaulding, who has been appointed temporary administrator. It's, it's hard to believe anybody that you would know and, and respect would have anything to do with something like that. Former Pastor Stephen Pohl was arrested and charged with possession of child pornography in Pinellas County Friday night, a day after resigning as pastor of St. Margaret Mary. It's heartbreaking news for parishioners Laura and Carlton Mosier, who entered Mass on Saturday afternoon with memories of Pohl. They say he helped them cope with the recent death of their 30 year old son. We could never have made it through this time without Father Steve. In a statement to WOKY, a spokeswoman says, the archdiocese remains committed to its priorities of cooperation with the authorities as the investigative and criminal process moves forward and pastoral care and support for all those affected, particularly the parishioners of St. Margaret Mary. Details about the federal investigation were discussed in a press conference on Friday. The poll had numerous up to 200, they reported, photos of St. Margaret Mary's school children on his computer or cell phone or other places. These pictures were apparently taken on parish ground. According to the Archdiocese, investigators say those photos of the children on Pohl's laptop showed students who were fully clothed, but some were described as inappropriate. Pohl is also accused of downloading child pornography on his personal computer, although the address listed on Pohl's arrest document matches the address of St. Margaret Mary. The Archdiocese says he is no longer living on church property. I totally believe that it's Everyone is innocent until proven guilty, and we will continue to pray for Father Steve and his family. Steve, according to our affiliate in St. Petersburg, Pohl's sister maintains a home in Pinellas County. Anyone with information regarding the investigation is asked to contact the parish's office. Live outside of St. Margaret Mary tonight, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News.